FiberOptic.com is a leading online provider of fiber optic products, training, and rental solutions. FiberOptic.com works hard to stay up to date and help their customers by providing demo videos of products we provide. The product being demonstrated in this video is a connector and phase polishing machine called the Seiko Gaikin 550. Let's begin. Once a day, at the, the beginning of the day, just give it a good brush. Now this is fresh from the factory, so I assume that it's very, very clean. This is the mission, the, uh, the action that you would do. And do this under running water. And always in that direction, never from on the side. Right, go down so that it out. out. Okay, prior to polishing, you have to prepare your rubber pads. And again, remember, I mentioned that there were two sides of the rubber pad. The side with the printing, which indicates the thickness or the height and the hardness of the pad. And of course, the side that's shiny. And that's the side where the polishing film actually uh, adheres to. And to clean it, just take an alcohol soaked Kim wipe and wipe off all the dust. A four step process with those connectors. Your first step is the same film that you did the air polish with, which is a 9 micron silicon carbide. Okay? My technique is just one little dab, a little wet there, drop it on the center, and then take the Kim wipe and just even it out. And it will stick very good. Second step would be a five micron diamond. And they are color coded so that you can always keep track of what it is. Only one? Oh. Did you only have one of those? Yeah, but this will last about 50 times. Okay. I mean, so many blue ones. <laughs> well, the blue ones do not last because they get clogged up. Yeah. Is one micron diamond. Oh. And I'm going to clean each film prior to use. This, what I'm doing now is just making sure that they stick. Okay. So, uh, to clean films, you basically take Kim Wipes alcohol and start from the middle and work your way out to remove my fingerprints and any particles. Okay. This is this is silicon carbide. This is diamond. This is diamond. The plate has four feet on it, so you can actually put it on the counter. And make sure uh, that you screw them in. However, because these are what we call key connectors, you're going to have to put keys on yourself. No, these are keys. Connector is key. Also, And drop it in there. need a little tool to do this and connect there are connectors that are integrated see it's integrated it's a, it's we already need uh, before polishing is to make sure that every ferrule every ceramic ferrule has spring action take your fingernail thumbnail push down and listen to it pop right back up it's got to come up very fast and it makes a distinctive Clickings, okay? Hold your plate up. And drop it on the four posts. Alright? Okay. Your timer for the first stage, and again, I'll send the process. It's going to be about 30 seconds. Power on. Do not engage the pressure for the first step. So just let it float. 30 seconds later, all the epoxy beads will disappear. Okay? And we'll take one connector out, and that is the grain created by that blue fiber, blue film. Okay? You've got to clean the bottom of the plate. And the best way to clean the bottom of the plate is with a spritz bottle of water and spray it on the bottom of the plate. Since we don't have one, I'm just going to wipe it with alcohol. You notice all the epoxy yeah, yeah, beads are done. And it would be also a good idea if you had a little compressed air to blow off the unused holes because contaminants are inside there. Replace it with a 5 micron diamond. Okay, there we go. You want to break? Yeah. 
Kelly, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. Flower spray. Yep, the flower spray. Just a little plenty. Yep. Water spray all right. Okay. Now you'll set your timer for 45 seconds. You'll turn the machine on first. And then as it's turning, then you put the pressure on. Two at a time. The snap crackle sound that you hear are air bubbles underneath the film. Totally safe, nothing's going wrong, okay? That's because we didn't have a roller to, to burp out the bubbles under the film to the rubber pad. So those are common, common uh, sounds that you hear. Nothing's breaking, it's just the air bubbles snapping. That's grease on the plate. Again, clean it again. See how the water is white now? Yeah. That means we're actually polishing the ceramic and the fiber together. Where's that can of air? Oh, to your left. Thank you very much. Yeah, take a look at the same connector again. Much better. That's the fiber. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is grain created by the 5 micron brown film. We're now ready to progress to the 1 micron purple film. That's common and that's normal. So this is exactly what it's doing, okay? It's polishing. This is the wrong way to put water on it. Okay, again, pressure, but start the machine first, okay? How many is the time for this? That's a minute. So, you can see the progression, okay? Now we're ready for final. After the third polishing, you re-clean the plate and begin the fourth polishing. Melting the solvent that's holding it together. In the water. All right. I took that one off because there's no fire. Again, pressure. I'm gonna do it 30 seconds. Good polish connector. No defects in the core. In the core. Okay. Core cladding. Zero defects. Cladding, you can accept a certain amount of things in it. But just a little bit more. Pits, scratches, dust, and light scratches.